watu kama jamii jamii yetu hii ilikuwa imezoea kuletewa sasa ilipokuwa imezoea kuletewa haikuwa na kwamba inaweza kufanya jambo likafanikiwa inasubiri mipango ya serikali serikali ilete lakini baada ya kupewa hamasa hii ikaingia na wakaweza kujitambua mabadiliko ni makubwa instead of uh, our churches waiting for external support they are able to mobilize resources within their own churches among church members kweli kabla ya mtakato tulikuwa na maisha ya duni zaidi kwa sababu hatukujua kwamba nikifanya hivi naweza nikapiga hatua au naweza nikapata mahitaji yangu au nikifanya biashara fulani naweza nikapata mahitaji yangu for many many years the church has concentrated on the spirit living the body and soul and therefore we are saying no this is the time to look into a holistic ministry soul body and spirit and therefore we become relevant to the people we are serving bila huo hakuna wajibu kwa sababu wenyewe unaleta elimu kumhamasisha mtu atumie rasmali hizo nazo ili ajikwamue There's uh, several stages to get to church community mobilization. When you want to enter into the community, you don't enter without knowing who is influential in that area and who can uh, convince the rest to understand the issue. So the first thing is a mapping of um, human resources that can help. So that is the first stage. The second stage is the communities themselves to prioritize what they think is their problem after prioritization mapping of the resources of what they have chosen as priority and then implementation there are so many approaches people can use to to do development projects development planners may sit and plan and impose the program to the communities government uh, trying to implement the priorities according to the government priorities but these are different from uh, church community mobilization program CCMP is about enabling people realize God's plan for their lives. And in the process of doing that, their lives get transformed and in a very sustainable way. Most of the imposed programs ends when the, the term of the program ends. Like if it's a five-year program, then after five years, communities understand that this program have ended. But the community mobilization program has no end because it's their process. lakini baada sasa ya mchakato kuingia cha kwanza tulianza na elimu. Unajua bila elimu ni kwa maana kwamba kila kitu hakiwezekani. Mchakato umeleta badiliko kubwa zaidi kwa sababu wengi wao walikuwa wanashindwa hata kusomesha watoto lakini kwa sasa watoto wanaenda shule. Shule zilikuwa mbali. Wanafunza kwa kifauri yani wanaenda mbali wanapata shida kusafiri nini. Kajenga secondary kwa mchango wa nguvu za wananchi kutoka mifukoni mwao tumetoa fedha zetu mfukoni japo kidogo na umaskini wetu they may find they need roofing and they don't have enough resources so they may develop a proposal to either government or any other stakeholder to help up finish with the roofing cha kwanza ni elimu lakini bado kuna mambo mengi elimu ndio likatamka afya tukatoa kwenye afya tukaja kwenye hali tu yenyewe sasa ya mazingira kimaisha tu ya, ya wananchi wa mazingira haya kidogo ikawa imesha change mpaka leo ilisha change tuko kwenye hali nzuri ya maisha we have tailoring uh, groups we have groups doing carpentry uh, we have uh, agricultural groups and we also have uh, groups for people living with hiv aids they are looking forward to earning money so that they can also elevate themselves from poverty but at the same time they are serving a community need right now we have more than almost 10 groups doing savings and credit in Kikuba and they are doing their own small income generation projects as a result of that Sasa tukajiunga kikundi tulikuwa tunaweka shilingi 1500 hisa mara ya mara ya kwanza tulipoanza kikundi mwaka wa kwanza Sasa tulipofanya hivi era yetu tukana kila wiki inaongezeka inaongezeka endapo kama mtana shida anakopa hiyo hela ambayo ni hela ya wenzako 
nilienda nikakupa laki tano nikapeleka mtoto shule na hela nyingine ikabaki nikatumia kwenye kilimo nikalima pamba na chakula nilifanikisha mwaka huu nikapata milioni moja na laki tisa, na laki tano nikarudisha hela iliyobaki nikatumia nikanunua na mifugo mchakato kwa akina mama umekuwa na mchango mkubwa sana. Kwa sababu kabla ya mchakato wanawake walijua kwamba hawana kazi yoyote ya kufanya ya kuleta maendeleo wala hawana sauti ya kusema au kuchangia wazo katika kuleta maendeleo ya familia au jamii. Lakini kwa sasa wanawake wana vikundi vinavyozaharisha wanaweza kufanya miradi yao ya, ya mtu mmoja mmoja na wanatoa mawazo kwenye jamii na kwenye familia. The level of participation in the community mobilization program is higher compared to other initiatives that comes in communities badiliko la kwanza ni badiliko la kifikira la kimtazamo najisikia huru sana kwamba kumbe ninaweza kwa maana hiyo kutegemea zaidi na kuwa haijengiki katika akili yangu kila mipango yangu ninapoipanga na najaribu kuweza basi nikishindwa ndo nahitaji kwamba jamani nimefikia hapa lakini si kwamba nisubiri nije kuanzishiwa badiliko la pili watu wanamjua Mungu kwamba Mungu yupo hata kama hataenda kanisani hata hata muamini Yesu lakini atajua Mungu yupo anayewafanikisha we understand that churches are part of the communities we don't want these programs to only be church program any problem is a community problem is not only for those who go to church Churches are now being seen not just as uh, spiritual uh, communities, but as an integral part of the community that deals with both spiritual as well as physical needs of the people. We have a number of people that have given testimonies of how they were before the mobilization in terms of even their faith and their relationship with their maker. The churches that we have mobilized, they have seen a tremendous increase in the level of attendance and also in being respected because then they are being seen as uh, useful players within the community to be able to bring about holistic transformation. Any church can be engaged in a church community mobilization process. This is not an expensive program uh, because uh, if uh, they get just the facilitator, the church pays nothing. Uh, so it's, a, it's such a program that every church can afford. This process takes are uh, an average of one year mchakato ulikuwa mgumu watu walipoanza ku, ku, kujikongoja kwenda wakaona mambo ya kumbe yanawezekana tier funds have been behind this program so uh, if uh, a local church is interested in implementing this transforming process they should contact the, the local tier fund office in their country or in their region